Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel IoT Frontier. Today we will be covering step by step tutorial on how to send data to Azure IoT Central and use its dashboards with your mobile as an IoT device in 5 minutes. Not only that, I will also cover some fundamentals on IoT Central. So stay tuned until end of this video to get all the steps right. In one of my previous video, I have explained you on how to use your smartphone as an IoT device and send your sensor data to Azure IoT Hub. If you haven't watched it yet, you can watch it now. Before we move further, please support the channel by subscribing and hitting the bell icon. Let's get started. Let's look into the agenda. So first we'll be talking about what is IoT Central, IoT Central features and finally we'll be doing some hands-on with IoT Central. Let's talk about what is IoT Central. So IoT Central is a SaaS solution which means software as a service and it uses low code approach and because of its low code approach it can be used for rapid prototyping. It has an ability to easily connect, monitor and manage your devices. And it also provides ready-made user interfaces, UX as well as API surface for connecting and managing devices at scale. And using all these features, it directly reduces the burden and cost of developing and managing your IoT applications or solutions. Let's talk about some of its key features. Some of the key features that we can see are the quick connectivity between IoT devices and cloud, centralized management, visualization and analysis, extensibility for integrations. Azure IoT Central provides a different ways to communicate as well as analyze some data. Let's get started with the hands-on. To work on this tutorial, you need an Azure account. If you are a student, then you can get $100 free credit from Azure. If you want to know more, click on the top right corner of this video to watch the complete video. Don't worry if you are not a student, you too can get a $200 credit. That is, you can create a free trial account. So to do that, click on the top right corner to watch the complete video. Now let's get started. So I have already logged in into my Azure portal. So I'll provide all the links before in the description. So I have already logged in and you can see this is the home page of my Azure. Now I need to go to IoT Central. I can search here and find IoT Central application. So here I can find there is no applications right now created. So I can create an IoT Central application. So I'll have to choose one of the subscription that I already have and then try to create a resource group. I already have, so I'll try to create one more. So I'll create IoT Frontier RG and the resource group name IoT Frontier IoT Central. So I can give this as a resource name which will be same for IoT Central application name as well. And I can choose different templates but I'll just use the custom template so that I can work on my own and I'll use the default which could be US 2 so that is East US and also standard I can use standard 0 and click on next and try to review it and once the review has been completed you can just click on create. So if you click on create, it will do the initial deployments and submit, submit this deployment and it will take one minute. Now you can even see the deployment in progress. Now you can see the deployment is complete. I can click on go to resource. So it will open the IoT Central application. And here I need to click on the IoT Central application URL. Now you can see the IoT Central application is opened. So what we can do is you can go to the devices and you can find out there are two ways to get started. So in this example, I'll be showing you how to get up and running in five minutes. So if you are new to IoT and IoT Central, 
you can try to uh, see all your IoT features within five minutes using your phone as a device. So I'll be doing this. You can click on use your phone as a device. So first you need to download the free plug and play app. So once you download that, you need to click on next. And once you have done that, you need to scan this QR code. So on the right side, you can see my mobile phone screen where I have downloaded IoT plug and play from the Play Store. Once you have done that, you can open and scan the QR code that has been given. So I can click on scan QR. So now you can see my mobile phone is trying to connect to Azure IoT. So it has, so you can see here it is connected. I can click on start tower and I can go to the my mobile screen also is trying to show me some of the details. So right now the accelerometer, gyroscope, magnetometer, all these details are going to be sent to the I IoT center. So to see the data, you can also see after refreshing, you should see my status as connected. You can now see the status as connected here. And what I can do is I can go to the raw data. And in the raw data, I can see it is trying to send values such as gyroscope values. And here I can see magnetometer all those values will be matching from my mobile phone and so best way is to go to overview so after a few minutes my location has been synced here and you can see the altitude like 548.3 even on the mobile phone you can see and the graph also trying to show the accelerometer and rotation everything and the location is still loading so this is how you can see very quickly the dashboard with the sensor data and you can also other than seeing the telemetry information you can also send commands to my mobile phone one of the interesting thing is in one minute how many pulses of light on which means that my flashlight will be on for three pulses so if i send that so my flashlight is turning on three times so this is how we can make even send so you can see it has received so in my mobile phone, you can see the notification that the command has been received. It started even executing. So that is how you can even send the commands and you can also send files from your mobile phone by a image upload on the bottom here and also see the logs as well on mobile phone. And you can see various properties. For example, in my properties, I can see my mobile phone model that is CPH2411 and here also on mobile phone you can see the same and the total memory these are called device properties these doesn't change that's why these will be available as it is and whichever are related to telemetry that keeps on updating here in the dashboard so this is simple and very straightforward now I'll try to show you some more features such as what we can do with this IoT Central. So you can go to Data Explorer and in the Data Explorer you can create a query so that whichever data that is available you can play with that and show some graph out of it. You can do the analysis out of the data by grouping some data. So for example if I go to uh, battery level and uh, see group by device ID. If you have multiple devices you can do it very quick easily and this is going to give me graph quickly like this and if I do with the acceleration x and group by device id it is going to give me the graph as this so this is very useful if you have multiple devices and you want to explore data and grouping by devices etc and you can also create a dashboard which is common for all the applications and show something like smart home application so that also can be created here easily and we can also go to rules which I mentioned like if you want to monitor some devices and try to create 
a rule out of it so that it can trigger an action so for example if you want to create a device take a device template so already this iot plug and play device is there and so condition it is based on condition so the telemetry if i say the battery level is less than or equal to 20 it should send me an email so it can even trigger the email in this format so it can say that this is the uh, battery level is so i can give the name of the rule so battery level less than 20 and that will be reflected in this template and i can give my email address so if i give email address it will be sending with a note and if i click on done i can save it so when i save it whenever it re receives the battery level less than 20 i'll be getting an email as well so this is very good and we also have various other rules to trigger different actions and you can also export the data that is from the iot central you can also export to de various destinations so i'll be showing you uh, so for example if you want to export what can you do so you can export telemetry property changes all these logs etc for example if you want to do the telemetry you can also enrich with some custom strings and properties and you don't have any destination right now so you have to create one and that destination has these many options so you can send to blob storage data explorer event hubs service bus so if i want to create event hub i need to create the event hub and try to provide all the connection strings etc so that it can send the data in real time to my additional destinations and you can also do some customization like for example you can see the matched head here has black color if i want to change that to blue color i can simply click on save and if i click on save it will change to blue color and if i want to change the accent that is the select image backgrounds so that also i can do by clicking if i want to give this color click on save and click save so immediately it changes like this and if you upload some uh, matched head logo then that will appear in the left hand side and a browser icon also can be uploaded all these customizations based on your brand you can do that and in the applications you can also rename your application url application name and give an application image as well and you can easily duplicate this application by using this copy and delete this application as well and if you go to security and permissions you can find that you can add multiple users organizations and manage them for example if you want to add new user you can simply create their uh, user id and then role you can give whether they are an operator administrator or a builder so each role also has different description so you can see that operator means they can only monitor the app system health and if it is an administrator they can do everything including billing and if it is a builder they will not be able to see what administration and so those blocks they will not be able to see and remaining everything of the application they can customize that's all for today's video i hope this video is very informative and has helped you understand how to use smartphone as an IoT device and easily work with ready-made UI on Azure IoT Central application. Before I sign off, your support means a lot to us and help us keep creating content like this. So please subscribe to the channel and like this video and if you find this helpful, please comment helpful and also try to post your queries in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.